Yo guys, what's good? I just wanted to make a uh, quick video here on this. Uh, this is the SP F3, uh, the SP Racing F3 board right here. And I looked and looked and looked on YouTube to try to find a decent, halfway decent video to uh, figure out how to hook this. This um, uh, flight controller up to the FS IA6 Fly Sky receiver, and I, by trial and error, I figured out my figured it out by myself. But what this is doing is, is this has two I/O ports. I/O two is if you're looking at the quad from the front. I/O two is on the left. I/O one is on the right, and uh, these these jump from side to side depending on your you know your channels I've got just six channels on my transmitter so what you gotta do here is IO1 which is on I hope you guys can see that which is on the right hand side your right quad facing front you got this is the PPM setup. I'm not hooked up for S bus right now because my uh, receivers don't support it. But I'm gonna get there eventually. But um, all these wires you don't need, you know. So on the IO one side, channel one is gonna be red, blue, and signal. Uh, red, black, and signal. So that'll go. Yeah, ground's on the bottom, so I'm going to go like that. And then channel 2 will be blue. Will be the blue one. Just These are just signal wires now. You already got the power hooked up, you know, through the, the red and the black, the pause and the neg. And signals always on the top facing in. So that'll go like that. And then channel five and six are just auxiliary channels for flight modes and arming. So those are gonna be five and six are gonna be yellow and green. So we can hook those up in a second. So IO2, which is on the left hand side is going to get a totally separate cable that the SP Racing F3 comes with two sets of these cables so this will plug into your FC and this is only two wires you got channel 3 which is going to be red black and signal which will go on in channel 3 just like this and then channel four will be blue. I know this looks like a lot of wires, but you know it's it's not that bad because I take them off. You know I, I take the rest of them off, and uh, and then from IO one, you've got your yellow and your green going in for your signals. So these right here can all be removed. And what I usually do is, I know a lot of you guys know how to do this, but you just take your your uh, utility knife here and you just stick it right underneath one of those tabs and you just pull that pull those wires right out so that they're not in your way. And then these will go, these will plug into your F3 just like that and uh, you're good to go. I had it hooked up to clean flight and uh, it works mint so I've got actually two quads that are all hooked up and ready to go still waiting on the weather to clear up here we it's spitting snow again today go figure welcome to Maine but anyways not here to bitch about the weather I just wanted to pass this on because this is uh I, I looked and looked and, I, and I, I thought that I was only supposed to come out one side and apparently these two ports jump back and forth you know between your channels so these have to be just like this all six channels jumping into your receiver and uh, and that does it right there so again from IO1 right hand side channel 1 
black red signal channel 2 was blue just a signal channel 3 from IO2 left hand side black red signal and also channel 4 is another signal so there's your power your your yaw or actually your throttle your yaw your pitch your roll and then the other two are just auxiliary which is for me I've got flight modes um, angle mode horizon mode and acro mode and the other one is just an arming switch so that when I hit it she fires right up so there you go the SP racing f3 hooked up to the fly sky FS IA6 without s -Bus. this is just a PPM hookup or PWM it's one signal ah multiple wires you know whatever it is you guys get the idea but I just wanted to pass that along to you guys anyway I hope this helps somebody man stay safe 